Hello there, YouTube viewers. Uh, this is uh, Remnant Church with another video. Today I'm doing a brief video about ecumenicalism, and it is a satanic deception. I was just watching here. Here's what you're looking at: is the best of, a, of the of the uh, of Journey Home, or uh, the Journey Home is a show here on uh, on the EWTN channel where they talk about uh, pretty much it is ecumenicalism converting uh, Protestants and Baptists over back to the Catholic Church. And I'm really concerned that this show is promoting satanic deception. Uh, I mean, they're, they're, they're this guy that, that hosts the show is writing books, and he uses words, how to get saved, and that's they're using deceptive terminology to make themselves appear to be uh, Christian in an effort to deceive Protestants and Baptists and anybody else that is, is ignorant of what the Catholic Church actually teaches. Uh, they're on here promoting Mary worship and trying to promote the Mass as scriptural. And uh, it, it just shows the deception. It shows the fact that they're ignorant of scripture. They had a youth pastor on this show today. It was really disturbing that was going to Liberty University and that he converted Catholic. And uh, he clearly, to me, shows his ignorance of scripture. And the fact that he was so gullible as to allow somebody else to come in and to tell him, you know, a false gospel, and just to accept that over the scriptures. And I, this guy was raised Baptist. And I kind of wonder about Liberty University, about their scriptural standards, because they, they I mean, according to what he said, they have Catholics going there, and they have other, other uh, uh, denominations. And he said, well, they teach the scriptures, they don't teach religion. So in other words, they're not going to teach real doctrine, they're not going to, they're not going to earnestly contend for the faith that it says in the book of Jude. They're probably just going to teach this watered down mess that's not even the gospel. And that's the problem with ecumenicalism. That's why I don't believe in it. Because you, you have to compromise to compromise the truth for their form of unity. And when you compromise the truth uh, for the sake of unity, it's not real unity. It's, 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 and it's, it's satanic deception. And uh, I just think we need to be aware of that. We need to, uh, as Christians especially, we, we believe that the Bible is the final authority for all manner of faith, practice, and doctrine in the church. Anything contrary to that, we do not receive it. And the Catholic Church, they teach Mary worship, and they do, they pray to Mary. The youth pastor was on there saying one moment, well, we don't worship Mary, but then the next moment, he's saying, well, but he's asking his audience to pray to Mary and ask her for answers on how to witness uh, your Protestant your family members and all that. And uh, talking about praying the rosary, you're actually praying prayers to Mary. She was just a human being. Yes, she was given a a uh, um, she was given uh, a, a, a high calling by God, but the Bible nowhere commands us to worship her or to pray to her. And when you're bound on your knees praying to Mary, that's a form of worship. You have to understand what the word worship means. And we also, by the way, in the Catholic Church, they edit out uh, the second commandment out of their Bible. That could be why, which it says, "Thou shalt have no graven images." So. And then there's the Mass, which the Bible clearly teaches that Jesus died once, one time for sinners and not to be offered many times they do in Catholic Mass. It says that in the book, I think Hebrews chapter 10, uh, and the fact that they, they believe that it literally becomes the blood, the body of Jesus, and it does not. And when you read the scriptural references in John, I think in the, in the book of John, it's actually it's symbolic. And in the New Testament, Paul refers to it as emblems. These are symbolic. Jesus died one time for sinners, offers himself once, not many times, not again and again and again. What the Catholic Church is, it is a non-Christian, pagan, Babylonian mess uh, that masquerades as Christian and is deceiving. What, I, what deserves me is they are deceiving Bible-believing Christians into joining that church. I mean, they're just people are being deceived and, and, and by Satan to join into a false gospel. And you have people, with Baptist people, who are being suckered uh, into joining this church. It was not, I'm not even going to call it church. This cult. This uh, it's, it's antichrist cult is what it is. And so, uh, as, as a Baptist, I, I denounce the Catholic Church, and I will continue to do videos on here to expose the false doctrine of the Catholic Church. In fact, I'm going to dedicate one whole video to talking about the different teachings of the Catholic Church, actually refuting them, and giving you these scriptural verses and references showing you that uh, the Catholic doctrines that they teach on the Mass, on salvation, on Mary, and the, the quote-unquote communion of saints, where they pray to the statues of the saints, and the and ask them to think that where that's un it's unscriptural pagan nonsense. It's mess. It's, it's false doctrine. It's false teaching. It's satanic. And, uh, and I, I, the Catholic Church is not a Christian church. They, what they do is they're they're teaching paganism and, and, and witchcraft and and, and and things like that, and giving them Christian terms. And you can prove to the Catholic Church that their tradition that comes from paganism 
In fact, even the office of the Pope is a, is a pagan title. Uh, like Pontius Maximus, that was actually a pagan title for uh, the head of a pagan priesthood in Rome. And so, that's, I mean, you can prove this. There's two Babylons by Alexander Hislop, who exposes the Catholic Church and her pagan heresies. And so I would encourage, uh, as a warning here, to close this video to my other, my fellow Christian brothers and sisters, don't be deceived by, by to join this church. Don't let somebody talk you into Join the false gospel. If somebody comes to you with another gospel or another teaching, you may, you line it up with the, the Bible. And I mean the King James Bible, by the way. You line it up with the Bible, and uh, if it doesn't line up with the book, it's wrong. If it ain't in the book, it's wrong. Thank you, and God bless you.